to rock, some people like to roll. But moving and a grooving gonna satisfy my soul. Let's have a party. 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 Stand up to her store, let's buy some more. Let's have a party tonight. The little snippet, a little tease of the Tony Award winning musical, The Million Dollar Quartet, which is now a playing at the Siegel Center here in Montreal, the Montreal premiere, and it's doing so well, so many positive reviews that it has been also extended to Place des Arts in the coming weeks. And we're so excited to have with us in a studio in the role of Elvis Presley. Can't you see the the familiarization there with the hair? <laughs> George and Chris, uh, and in the role of Elvis's girlfriend, Diane. Of course, someone many Montrealers are familiar with, Sarah Diamond. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. So I got to ask you, uh, Mr. Elvis, I mean, how does it feel to be uh, in the role of such a an iconic star of rock and roll. Well, what's interesting about this is that all of these guys, this, the show takes place before they were huge stars. Mm -hmm. Elvis was just starting to take off. Um, it was just the first year of his career, so it's pre uh, Vegas, pre you know sequin jumpsuit, all that kind of stuff. So he's just <laughs> kind of discovering who he is, which kind of takes the pressure off of impersonations because mm -hmm. it's not an impersonation show these are we're living these people which I think makes a big difference and I think that's what really is drawing all these audiences uh, to come and see the show Sarah yes. this is sort of your first dive into musical theater a lot of, of people of course familiar with you because you sing the national anthems at the Montreal Canadiens games uh, how did this opportunity come about for you you know it's funny how it happened because I you know I have always loved musical theater but I kind of dabbled in it in high school and during the summer um, and Lisa Rubin, the director, reached out to actually my uncle, and she was saying, "Do you have a you know a connection to Sarah, who's in you know Montreal?" And he's like, "Yeah, she's she's my niece." <laughs> so <laughs> we we spoke, and she told me about the role, and I you know thought it would be a great opportunity to you know mm -hmm. give it a shot and yeah. and kind of go into it professionally, and I'm loving every second of it. And she's really good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she is. Yeah, and you'll be prizing the role for the second time, George. Mm -hmm. So you must be really good at too. Uh. <laughs> and it's so interesting because for people not familiar with the story, basically it's based on a true life event, particularly mm -hmm. this event back in 1956 when all these rock and roll greats, including Presley and Johnny Cash and Jerry Lee Lewis and Carl Perkins, get together for this jam session. Mm -hmm. But the girlfriend, uh, whose name is really Marilyn, right, is sort of in history, uh, at least, sort of cropped out of, of all the photos and everything. So why do you think they, they, they brought you for, for this, brought you back for this? Uh, you know, I think, first of all, they needed some female energy in the room <laughs> because it's a cast full of only guys. Uh -huh. So I think they needed a little bit of spice in that, in that sense. But, you know... Diane, at least in this role, plays kind of like the silent backbone. You know, she's mm -hmm. there watching everything, kind of seeing it from an outsider's perspective, but then also coming in during critical moments and, mm. you know, lending a hand or, you know, giving her opinion or, you know, mm -hmm. seeing things and really being a part of them too. So uh, I think she adds a nice little... Nice little spice to the show. Yeah. A nice little spice. So how has it been? You had the preview uh, at the Siegel Center, of course, mm -hmm. uh, and opening night is tomorrow night. So how is how is it like to be on such an iconic? Speaking of iconic rock and roll stars, on such an iconic stage yeah. in Montreal. Well, it's been it's been absolutely wonderful. Yeah, we had our first preview um, Sunday afternoon. We had our second one yesterday, and. Uh, people dancing in the aisles already like legitimately they, they had to get up from their seat to, yeah. to dance so um, the audiences have been enjoying it I think it's just going to get better yeah you know? well for, certainly for people who lived through that time it's sort of a tra you know transportation back yeah. uh, to that time well the tickets are going fast obviously because it's uh, been so successful successful and certainly it's going to be just as successful here in Montreal